Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Yokai Watch Busters series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we were fighting Yokai, and now we're back in the base here, so let's fight some more Yokai. So here we go. Here we go. Let's go on a mission to fight Yokai and get experience, and then we can go back to the Wismillow Man and take him on. Because that, that was a wonderful fight. That was a truly wonderful fight. Except it wasn't. Except it wasn't. It was. It was painful. <laughs> it was a painful fight. Anyways, let's go with this Snartle quest, or uh, rather, this Snartle mission, and take this on. So here we go. Here we go. And we can't actually take on the Wismillow Man until we are a higher level. Like the entire team needs to be a higher level than it is right now, because right now. Oh, whoops. Right now, the entire team, I think, is around 40-something, but it's not good enough. It's not good enough, because we tried doing a fight with the, the uh, Wismillow Man, but it didn't really work out. didn't really work out because we lost right at the start of the first fight. So, yeah, we need more experience. We need more experience on these yokai. So here we go. Here we go. Take them down. Come on. So probably for the next few episodes, we're going to be taking on missions again and again and again in order to get more experience. So then we can go back to the Wismillow Man and actually be able to take him down without having to worry about going down. Because, you know, it's good to not have to worry about losing a fight. It, it really is. Anyways, let's try to get as much experience as we can here. So let's go up here and grab this. Here we go, and then let's just use this, because why not? And now let's find those other four yokai. Where are those other four yokai? I think that uh, most of them are down here, because there's none up there. At least, I think there aren't any up there. I think there aren't any up there, but I know there's a few down here, so... Let's go and take them on. Okay, there's one right over there, so let's go through here. Here we go. Grab this experience orb on the way here. And let's take them on. Here we go. Here we go. Take them on. And take them down. Come on. Come on, team. Help me out here. Help me out here. He's kind of powerful. He's doing a lot of damage. He's doing a lot of damage. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this. Okay. Oh, no. We're down. We're down. Go, go, go. We're down. Come on. Bring him back. Bring Rudy back. Bring Rudy back. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. Okay. Somebody cover Unikirin there. Somebody cover Unikirin. Okay. Uh, there we go. Horn of Plenty is back. And we're good. We're good to go. So let's just start running over this way while Unikirin heals us up. Here we go. Here we go, grab that, and then run down here and grab this experience orb. Here we go, there we are, and now let's run down here and take on the remaining three yokai. Here we go, here we go. Okay, let's take this one on. Shouldn't be a difficult fight. At least I hope it's not a difficult fight. I really hope it's not a difficult fight here, but we're losing a lot of health. Luckily, Unikirin is healing us up pretty quickly, so that's good. And we did it. We did it. That was actually pretty easy. Pretty easy, thanks to Unikirin and uh, his ability to heal us up. Because if we didn't have Unikirin right now, we would be so done. Like, we would lose every single fight. Because Unikirin is the only reason we are able to actually you know, do anything in these fights, because he heals us up. Anyways, let's just take this opponent down. There we go, do some damage with that. Barely did anything since it had its little shield up. Okay, here we go. Bring Rudy back. Bring Rudy back, there we are. Now do some damage here. I think Rudy's about to go down again. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, bring Rudy back again. Bring Rudy back again. There we go. There we go. So let's go over this way 
in order to reach the next area. Rather, the next yokai we've got to fight. So, here we go. Let's take this dude down. Got some experience from that. And now, let's grab this experience orb here. And then take down this yokai. Here we go. Take him down. Come on. Come on. Do some damage here, Horn of Plenty. You're just wandering off. You're not supposed to just wander off. It's not good. Because then somebody on the team is going to go down, and that's not good. It's, it's never good, actually. Like, it's never good for someone on the team to go down. But it happens for some reason. It happens. More than enough. Anyways, let's uh, befriend this yokai here. There we go. Okay, and the last one. There we are. We got them all, so let's head up here. Let's head up here and take down Snartle. Here we go. Here we go. Luckily, we have our Sultimate ready, so this is going to be pretty easy. Pretty easy thanks to the Sultimate, so it's just a little bit more. Just a little bit more to walk. And he's right here. Here we go. Take him on. Do some damage. Switch over to Horn of Plenty. Do some damage. Okay, that did 173 from a distance. So it still did damage, but not as much as it could have. Because it definitely could have done more. Anyways, let's use your Sultimate. Okay, that did nothing. That did actually nothing to him. Wow. Welp. Okay then, so I'm gonna have to aim my ultimates better from now on. Definitely gonna have to aim them a lot better. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here, take them down. Come on. Come on. Havernyan, come on, do something, do something. Horn of Plenty, attack them, come on! What are they doing? They're like wandering off and then coming back and attacking him. Why don't you just stay here and attack him the entire time? Maybe it's a str maybe it's a strategy. That's a possibility. It's possibly a strategy like the AI of the game is like, hey, walk off, heal a little bit, and then come back. That might be it. That might be it. Anyways, let's go over here to the exit. Over here to the exit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I can actually grab this before we need to go to the exit. So let's get it real quick and run. Run because we've got to get to that exit really fast. Because we've got 30 seconds left. We've got 30 seconds left. And the exit isn't exactly close to us. Yeah. I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know if we'll make it. Uh, we might. We might. We might. I probably could have taken that detour there and still made it. Yeah, probably could have. But hey, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Open up the door. What are you doing? <sighs> Welp. Welp, I just let that happen. I just let that happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure it just brings us back here and it lets us get all that experience anyways. Right? Yeah, it does. It does. So we got a music note there and a bunch of items. So let's save the game. Here we go, saving the game. And now let's go over here. Let's go over here to the uh, training level. And let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. So I want to get everybody up to level 44. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, not enough to get you up to level 44. Darn. Darn. That's not good. We need like, what, 10,000 experience to actually finish this off? I think so. I think so. That's definitely going to take a while to get. That's definitely going to take a while to get. So what can we do here? Absolutely nothing. 
Can we sell stuff? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, we can sell stuff. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Because I could use these items in the fight. I really could use these items in the fight. Do we have anything super useful we can sell? Uh, we've got 13 of these, but I don't think I really want to sell those. I don't know why that's so useful. Oh wait, no, that's the, the special one. That's why it's so useful. Ooh, but we can sell these. Uh, not these, but some of this other stuff here. Interesting. Interesting. I want to sell these crystals because I actually have no use for them. So I might as well sell them so then we can train up a little bit more. So let's see here. We've got 16 of these. There we go. Uh, 15 of these. I'm going to sell 12 of them. Uh, do we have any more? Do we have any more that have large amounts? Not really, but hey, we can get some more uh, levels out of this. We can get some more levels out of this, so here we go. And get you up all the way to level 44. There we are. Now, train you up to level 43. And then just use the rest. Might as well. So we might get enough soon. We might get enough soon, and like soon enough, we might get what we need to actually uh, get everybody up to level 44. We might actually get it, because two of ours are up to level 44. Two of our yokai are up to level 44. One of them is 43, and one of them is 42. So we definitely need a good amount of experience still, like uh, seven, eight thousand. But that's only two or so missions, so it shouldn't be too bad to get all of that. It shouldn't be too bad to get all of that. So yeah, for now, I think I'm going to end off this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Yokai Watch Busters series on the channel. Bye, everybody.